five, four, three, two. I know you see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. <laughs> If you grew up in the past two decades, you most likely viewed one of the many shows created for Nickelodeon by Dan Schneider. Schneider's work as a producer began with all that in the mid-90s, and then extended to the development of classic series like The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, and Zoe 101. Two years ago, Dan's era as the king of Nickelodeon sitcoms concluded, when Nick announced he would no longer be developing shows for them. And even though there are most likely very professional reasons for this parting of ways, most people like to believe it's because Dan had a problem with flaunting his actress's feet all over the place. Regardless, today I want to discuss a topic that has always intrigued me about Schneider's shows, that being the fact that they all seem to possess a shared universe. Now, for the sake of organization, I'm only going to be including the shows that I grew up with and watched, which includes Drake and Josh, iCarly, Victorious, and uh, Sam and Cat, even though I barely watched any of it. I'm not including any of the garbage made in recent years like Henry Dangerfield, Gamers Rise Up, or The Thunder Cunts. These four shows all exist concurrently in the same universe with each other, and I will offer proof of that right now. So, in Drake and Josh, the brother's little sister, Megan, is played by Miranda Cosgrove. The show would last for several years before eventually ending and leaving Dan to produce his new show, iCarly. iCarly also featured Miranda Cosgrove playing the lead role of Carly, accompanied by Jeanette McCurdy as Sam. After iCarly, there was Victorious, which had Victoria Justice playing the role of Tori. And finally, there was Sam and Cat, which served as a spin-off of the previous two shows mentioned, by placing both Sam from iCarly and the side character Cat from Victorious as the lead roles. So how are all of these shows and their characters connected? Well, the juiciest example would be the episode of iCarly that aired on June 11, 2011, titled I Party with Victorious, an ambitious crossover where the casts of iCarly and Victorious partied together and Carly had her first ever on-screen interaction with Tori. This crossover confirms without a doubt that iCarly shares the same universe as Victorious, as does the sheer existence of the show Sam and Cat, which has characters from both series interacting with each other. Now hold on to your hats though, because this is where things start to get... freaky. In 2009, two years before I Party with Victorious, episode 20 of iCarly's second season titled I Fight Shelby Marks aired on television. What's this? This... Shelby Marks' character looks a lot like Tori from Victorious, and, oh, it's the same actress. But hold up, how can Shelby Marks and Tori exist in the same universe, which we've already established as canonically shared between Carly and Tori? Well, if you think that's weird, how about this? The 23rd episode of iCarly's first season, titled iCarly Saves TV, featured the character Harper, who is played by Leon Thomas III. Leon Thomas also plays the character Andre from Victorious, and he too appears in I Party with Victorious. This means that we have two near-identical people that are canonically in the same universe, and Carly somehow isn't even able to realize that Tori and Andre don't seem eerily similar to the two people she met only a few years prior. There do exist fan theories as to how this strange occurrence can exist. For example, maybe Tori simply has a long-lost twin sister who decided to take up MMA boxing. But hold on to those theories for a moment, it's time to talk about Spencer. Spencer Shea is Carly's older brother, played by actor Jerry Trainer. Trainer also plays the character Crazy Steve in Drake and Josh. Alright, but hold on, so what if Cosgrove and Trainer portray two completely different characters in Drake and Josh? There's been zero connections from that show to the later show, iCarly. Well, hold your buttholes, boys, because I've got something to show you. Sam and Cat, episode 31, hashtag Super Psycho. Look who happens to show up. Ah, do look you, the cow says boo! That's right, it's ya boy, Crazy Steve. But hold on, Sam and Cat undoubtedly exists within the iCarly universe which contains Spencer. But Crazy Steve is established within the Drake and Josh universe. This proves that all these shows are interconnected. So how can Spencer and Crazy Steve, or Tori and Shelby Marks, coexist at the same fucking time? I'll tell you how! Shifting timelines. You heard me. It's true that in 2009, iCarly existed in a universe where Shelby Marks existed. But at some point between 2009 and 2011, the timeline shifted to where Shelby never existed, but Tori did. Same thing with Crazy Steve, who existed in the Drake and Josh timeline, 
but eventually transitioned into the iCarly timeline, where his alternate universe counterpart Spencer existed. Crazy Steve realized what had happened though, and this is why in the episode Hashtag Super Psycho, he was placed in a mental institution, since nobody believed him when he made an outcry about what had happened to him. They thought he was crazy, but it turns out that Crazy Steve is actually Woke Steve. Also, have a look at this clip of the ninth episode of Season 2 of Victorious, in which the main cast admits that in their world, Drake and Josh is in fact a TV show. This only further supports the idea of the timeline shift, not only due to Crazy Steve's existence in this universe, but also because of cameos by Drake Bell and Josh Peck, who in this timeline appear to be just actors. But brace yourselves, because there is still one key element we're forgetting in this whole mess. That key element is... Helen. Helen is the key to all of this. In Drake and Josh, she was no more than Josh's annoying manager at the movie theater. However, she later appeared in Victorious in the appropriately named episode, Helen Back Again, as the same character with the same name. Not only that, but she also mentions Crazy Steve by name, which proves that she is aware of the timeline shift and knows that Crazy Steve is coexisting with his counterpart, Spencer. <laughs> I thought Crazy Steve was crazy. Crazy Steve. And, okay, I know I promised I wasn't going to mention Game Shakers, but in that show, Helen is there too, and even has her own fucking talk show! Do you know what this means? The fact that Helen can canonically exist in all these shows and all these timelines at her whim, and in each of them, have supreme luck and fortune on her side. In one show, she's a wealthy manager. In another, she's a dictatorial principal. And in this one, she's a literal celebrity with a talk show. Helen has the power to travel through dimensions and alternate universes. THINK ABOUT IT! She merged the Drake and Josh timeline to eradicate the real Drake and Josh, and transformed their little sister into a young girl who lives in Seattle. She then went to Hollywood to encounter Tori and all of her friends, and then when she learned Crazy Steve had survived the timeline shift, THAT BITCH HAD HIM INCARCERATED! AND THEN SHE USED HER POWERS FOR EVIL TO OBTAIN FAME, FORTUNE, AND HER OWN TALK SHOW! CAN'T YOU SEE IT? IT WAS HER ALL ALONG! SHE WAS USING HER STAND, DIRTY DEEDS DONE DIRT CHEAP, TO TOTALLY FUCK UP THE TIMELINES! WHERE DO YOU THINK HARPER AND SHELBY MARKS ARE NOW, HUH? THEY'RE FUCKING DEAD! AND WHAT ABOUT THE GIRL FROM ZOE 101, ALSO PLAYED BY VICTORIA JUSTICE? I BET SHE'S DEAD TOO! JUST LIKE THE REST OF THE CHARACTERS IN THESE SHOWS ARE GONNA BE, UNLESS WE- I knew you'd come for me, Dan. You won't stop me. This video will be released, and this whole world is gonna know the truth. It's too late for you. You won't stop me, because I have your weakness. Take it. <laughs> That's good. Get it, get it all out. So in conclusion, Dan's basically just a hack who reuses characters whenever he feels like it because he can't write well. Okay, that's that's the video. I'm done. I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way! I found a way! If you open up your mind! See what's inside! It's gonna take some time to realize! But if 
me look inside, I'm sure you'll find Over your shoulder, you know that I told you I'll always be picking you up when you're down So just turn around